Hey everybody, I'm Stephanie Quayle and you're watching Bull Sessions at the Skype Live Studio. So Stephanie. Yes, sir. Um, quick question for you since you're talking about drinking with Dolly. Have you yes. had a chance to meet Dolly yet? I have not met Dolly yet. Loretta? I, I, I've seen Loretta. I've seen Dolly, but I've never like been right. this, this close. Not yet. There's always like uh, 200 people surrounding them yes. as an entourage. And I then know. me like, you know, zooming in with my phone going, <laughs> I have a song so, about I'm you. Here. Hello. <laughs> but she has heard it. Okay, good. She has heard it, which is, you guys, Dolly Parton. Someone song. passed it off. I love that. What? <laughs> yes, Anna, and she loves it, which is the coolest thing ever. I mean, when I think about, like, being this one's age here and listening to country music and thinking that one day Dolly would hear a song that I tribute to, you know, her and Loretta and Tammy and Patsy, it's, it's beyond. Well, you're an inspiration, especially young kids like today with them. I mean, you penned your first song when you were 12 years old. Yes, it was not one of my best. It's okay. Just letting you know. <laughs> but you did it. You did I it. I did. I did. It was, I mean, it's, I'm kind of a cheese ball. So uh, it, uh, my best friend like fell for my cousin. I mean, this is 12. You understand like relationships when you're 12 are very serious. So I had to make the soundtrack of their moment. Uh -huh. So I did. And I sang it while they held hands and looked at the lake <laughs> in Minnesota. And you thought it was going straight to number one. Oh, man, that was just something. Yeah, it's wild. Well, that's wild. cool. I mean, no, it's, it's cute. It that takes a special a talent to be a songwriter and a performer because to be able to put those words on a piece of paper and make it come to fruition and everything to life is amazing. Not only that, you play piano. I do play you a piano. You taught yourself how to play guitar. I did. Did you just pick it up I'm because still, you were... I'm still teaching myself to play. <laughs> <laughs> Were you tired in between, I mean, you know, like working in the barn with your family oh and you're gosh. like, I've got to learn something new to get out of the house? Was it one of those situations was, or it, like... You know, we, we had a little piano like under the stairwell in our little farmhouse and my step-grandmother was a piano teacher, so it was a requirement once my mom married my stepdad. It's like, oh, you're going to learn piano. Yes, ma'am. And she was, she, was she was a strong woman. Strong, my friends. And the only time I could get away with anything with her was during a recital. Because she uh -huh. couldn't, like, I'd be like, <laughs> she can't, she could get mad at me after, but not during. I was, I was a little turkey, you know. It's like, don't touch the keys. Don't the touch, moment. don't, yeah, no, it was, it was amazing. And then, yeah, guitar, I just, I, I mean, I had these little poems that turned into songs, and I didn't know what I was really doing, you know, I was just doing it. How many songs do you think you've written in the last five years now? Oh, probably. A library full? I mean, you've. I know that those books stack up pretty quick when yeah. it comes to writing songs. I have a lot of partials, those for days. Mm -hmm. But I think songs that I actually let anyone hear, probably like 50 to worthy. Right. Worthy. Like, not like no one should ever hear that. So I did an exchange program when I was 16. I went to Switzerland. Wow. It was my okay. way of running away legally and, uh, and learning, <laughs> studying children. Close your ears, kids. Close little your ears. humans. <laughs> uh, but there was a band there that needed a singer. And so their, their, uh, their lead singer had gone to Germany to be a soap opera actress. Oh. True story. It's amazing. It's crazy. Amazing. So I said, well, I sing. You know, just this kid off the boat. And they said, well, come try out. And so that was my first band. That was the first time I had the experience of being on stage and just falling in love with being on stage. Sure. It's like the place I make the most sense to me. You know, I'm a fish out of water everywhere else. Was it Here's like me. a rock band or was it cover I, bands? You know, I don't know what our genre was. There, there might have been a song about a cat that I wrote as well. <laughs> Farm life really got into my songs, my friends. But no, it was really fun. There were, uh, there were no boundaries. I just was able to write. I mean, they just, you know, she sings, she speaks, sings English. We'll, we'll work with her. I think that's why they wanted me in the band. Ah, I got you. Because English is really cool. Over there. Sure. Yeah, so no, it was, it was awesome. So that's when I knew. Right on. Well, speaking yeah. of covers, do you have any covers that you like to cover that you could surprise us with maybe today? We could, we could surprise you with a little something. You guys want a little surprise? All right. All right. So, all right. We'll give, we'll give you a little something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Stephanie Quayle. Oh, you're playing the guitar. It helps if I have it. He's much taller. This. Oh, I see he doesn't even put it over his back. You see this? It's amazing. Lars Thorson, everybody. Will Stevens over here. So uh, this song that we're about to play for you guys is uh, one of the first bands I ever saw play in Montana. So if you know the words, you know the songs, just go ahead and sing along. Because it's summertime, and this song to me is all about summer and Montana. Do you guys know what that is? Does that sound familiar? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. 
What song is this? Come on, Randy. All right. I love this song. I know these football players right here like jam to this as they're practicing and they're doing their stretches, right? This is your jam. What are you talking about? Watching you, Rob. Crazy yellow moon coming up tonight, shining through the trees. Crickets are singing and the lightning bugs are floating on the breeze. Baby, getting ready. Go ahead, you can all get louder. It's good. It feels good, doesn't it? Across the field where the crick turns back, old stone road. I'm gonna take it to a special place that nobody knows. Baby, get ready. Are you gonna come in the course? Ooh, you and me go fishing in the dark. Line on my backs and count the stars where the cool grass grows. Because you guys have to come see the full length at a show. Does that sound like a good trade?